you know, Kitab, we always, in a way, Bumper is looking back and looking forward. So when we were like doing the, the entire kind of series for Bumper, I mean, like, was it able, were we able to kind of sum up what this year was in particular? Obviously, 2018 was a very special year, right? Yeah, Amazing it was. year. Yeah. And uh, with the elections and the consequence of the elections. Mm. So, this year's issue, uh, I would say, had more, especially on the political side. So, mm. we had a special pullout on G14 itself. So, the bumper this year captures what, are the, what were the major events that took place in the year and a little bit of what are the issues that we need to address going forward. If you look at the two major events, I think it was obviously G14 and yeah. the results uh, and also 1MDB because uh, finally we had a lot of action on 1MDB. So if you look at the bumper issue, apart from the normal corporate deals and everything else, uh, a lot of pages were dedicated to G14 as well as 1MDB. Yeah, well that of course makes sense because it was almost a year that we could finally openly talk about it. We've, I mean, we worked together for years and I know that for when it comes to MNMDB and politi politics, we always, we, we, we don't skirt the line, but it's never, you know, the forefront and, you know, we, we've always had to talk about it in a certain way. But this year it's been very public about how it's talked. And has enough been done, you think, in terms of like progress on both? like 1MDB at least this year? Of course, if you look at what happened in the previous three years, uh, a lot of things happened uh, at home in particular mm. on 1MDB. Uh, people have been charged. A lot of information about what had happened has surfaced, uh, which is a good thing, which is what every Malaysian has been asking for um, all this time, right? But beyond that, beyond that, we also had to pose the question mm. going forward. Mm. Uh, all these things from the past being surfaced, action being taken is uh, well and good. But I think a lot of Malaysians too want to know uh, what about going forward? What about addressing uh, the issues that we face as a consequence uh, of, uh, say, mismanagement of the economy, mismanagement of government finances, mismanagement of public money. Um, I think uh, Tun Daim was right in saying that we cannot just be talking about it all the time. Uh, Malaysians voted us in or voted them in uh, not to just surface uh, the problems but to address the problems and I think that's the issue that uh, the country faces. So that's the main thing now that I'm thinking as we sort of are in 2019. The alliance I won't say it seems fragile, but you know, there is a lot of, they're still trying to find their feet. Um, the economic issues, you, I think we've just barely scratched the surface. So of all our contributors and even the pieces that we've written, what's the main kind of things you think we're going to see for 2019? I think uh, people would like to see the government, the cabinet settle down. We must give them some time. Six months has passed. Uh, this is a new team. Yeah. They have to get to know each other. Mm. The chemistry has to be right. And uh, beyond dealing with the issues, there has to be good chemistry uh, within the cabinet, right? Mm. As Bill Clinton said before, right? It's mm. the economy is stupid, right? Yes. They have to address the economic issues. And that's where I think there is a bit of uh, uncertainty and concern. Uh, who is really in charge? Yeah, you, who, you is, who is taking the lead? You know, it cannot be the PM, right? The PM set the broad agenda, but somebody has to take the ball and run with it. But the, for years, we've been used to the PM also being the finance minister, so Correct. we always have this assumption that he's going to be one driving it. But, but is he but, driving but, it? But uh, Nadia, even when, when the PM was the finance minister, mm. he had a MOF too. Yeah, correct. Right? He had an MOF too. It was Tan Sri No. And uh, during Mahathir's time and during Pak Lah's time, hmm. uh, it was Daim the first time around when, when Mahathir was the Prime Minister. Correct. They were the key people who actually ran things on his behalf. But after G14, you had uh, what I describe as a uh, dispersion of power because 
Mahathir this time around created a Minister of Economic Affairs. We never had a Minister of Economic Affairs before. Oh, yeah, yes. uh, previously, the economy finance was under Minister of Finance. Now you have Minister of Finance and you've got Minister of Economic Affairs. And you've got the ad economic advisor to the Prime Minister. And of course, you have Daim as the uh, chairman of CEP. Whether CEP still exists or not, we don't know. Yeah, exactly. Right? Uh, but he's around. So who is actually taking charge? I think that's where the problem is. Some people believe when you disperse authority and power is... Isn't that a good thing? It's a good thing, but it's also a bad thing because it means things move slower. And we right? can't afford to move slower, can we? Precisely. We, we, we can't afford to, to move slower. It's like there's only one ball and four people are holding the ball. How is, are we going to move forward, right? Yeah, that's You have true. to give it to somebody and say, you, Nadia, you take charge. I hope I don't have to take charge. Yeah. You, you'll be better off yeah. taking charge. But, but that's the point yeah. of uh, the, the article that I wrote. Yeah, and then, so as we go into 2019, we did talk about corporate and all the deals. Did, do you think with everything, confidence will return? Because I've talked to people and they said they just need confidence to return. Correct. Confidence, I think uh, uh, people want to invest, people want to do new things, mm. but not, they're not quite sure. They're not quite sure. And it doesn't help that there's still all this noise going on about the transition, the handing over of power from Mahathir to Anwar and all those things create unnecessary uncertainty and I think that's why people are concerned. And we can't mess this up, can we? Of course not. I think May, May 9th, G14 uh, gave uh, us a chance to build a new Malaysia. It's not. A new Malaysia doesn't happen overnight, right? Yeah. It's an opportunity. Right. But whether we, 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 we the government uh, of the day, the government that was voted in, whether they make use of it, it's, it's, uh, it's up to them. For more on the stories, pick up a copy of The Edge Weekly at all good newsstands.